This is meteorologist Derek Tallman. Thank you so much for joining me uh, with this important update that I have now received uh, from the National Weather Service on my Twitter page. That was a couple minutes ago. Slick conditions for the evening commute. That is going to be a big time issue because we've had spin out accidents. A lot of accidents have been reported out in metropolitan Detroit. So like I say, if you're going to be out on the road, please take it very, very slow and safe out there. You're going to need that extra time uh, because a lot of things are happening and uh, it's a very serious situation going on. So not looking too good if you plan on going out, but if you really don't have to adventure out in this uh bad weather on these roads the best thing to do is just to stay home where you're safe and sound is going to be the best bet and uh these are some details that i was just uh noted here and we're going to go over them and after that we'll get this on live and get it going here for those that don't know what's going on so we're going to go ahead and look at, uh, this is what I have so far, radar and temperatures around 3.40 p.m. A burst of sleet, snow, and freezing rain will quickly cover roads, and that's exactly what's been going on. I'm sure a lot of people are taking pictures of that. And also, there's going to be a round of moderate Freezing rain moving north, that includes Ann Arbor, Detroit by 4.30 p.m. tonight, and Pontiac, Michigan at 5 p.m. So, uh, temperatures starting to rise below freezing, warmer air slowly expanding to Ann Arbor, Detroit by 7 o'clock, so that's when uh, changes are going to be happening here. Also, let me just to remind you as well, there's other information on the right part of the screen there. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, I want to make sure that all the details are on here as well. Uh, so this is the last part of it, and then we'll uh, have more details uh, throughout the day today as well when I receive them. Uh, so this is the bottom line, and this is very important to all motorists that are going to be out there today. I know you don't want to hear this, but unfortunately, that's not just going to be the issue. We've also gotten reports in metropolitan Detroit of power outages across and scattered across metropolitan Detroit. So that is another concern that we will be monitoring very closely. So we'll talk about that uh, within the next half an hour or so, or when I get more latest developments on that, I most definitely will uh, keep an eye on that one as well. So this is how it all shapes out. Uh, snow and ice will cause slick travel this evening and may cause power outages, so this is what will happen. Roads will be slick for the evening commute. Unless they are well treated, some rain starting to mix with ice near the Ohio border. Travel only if necessary. Slow down. Put Extra space between you and the vehicle allow extra time um, as well. So we just advise you if you do not have to go out in this uh, severe uh, weather related ice stuff, we advise you not to stay home if you do not have to go unless it's an emergency of that nature. That's one thing, but if you do not have to be out in this uh, weather situation, please do not get out and start driving unless it's an absolute emergency. That is a must, uh, and it's for your own safety. So we're just telling you if you're going to be driving, please use all precautions as necessary, uh, like we had noted uh, a couple minutes ago. So we just wanted to remind you about that as well. Um, also. 
Uh, power outages possible, especially in the warned areas. We're in the advisory area, um, but uh, even if we're in the advisory area, uh, we probably will see some power outages, but not as much as they will see in the warned area. But throughout the evening and into Tuesday morning, we will continue to keep you posted on this. And we'll have uh, a full edition of what you can expect for the remainder of the rest of the evening and night. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of breaking reports, a lot of pictures of snow, ice, and all that kind of stuff, sleet, hailstones, or whatever you want to call it. You name it, you got it. So uh, we'll keep you posted throughout the day. That's the latest that I have for right now. So... I uh, just want to give you guys the heads up. This is meteorologist Eric Tallman with this uh, winter severe weather uh, update uh, that was on my Twitter page from the National Weather Service office. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on my YouTube page. If not, uh, you can tweet me as well. Uh, thank you. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please prescribe on my YouTube channel. And this is Eric Tallman. I'll keep you posted with more updates when they become available. Thank you for watching.